Hey guys, I'm Jim back with a video. Um, I got two packages in the mail. I'm gonna unbubble for you guys. Um, I did my CD hauler of all the CDs I got from that yard sale that was left over and Saturday got for free. If you wanna know how I got it free, go back and check that video. I know it's kinda long, but I had to go through a lot of CDs that I got for free, three big bags full of CDs I got free. Left over from that yard sale. But right now I got two packages in the mail. One's a steel book, which I think is pretty cool. And the other one's two anime titles that I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you the anime titles first on the steel book I got. So let's get into it and I'll show you um uh, all the stuff I got in today, and I got a few more things coming in this week that I should have by the end of the week. Like, I know I got a couple Blu-rays that I picked up, which I'll show you guys, and I think I should have another cartoon DVD coming, hopefully, to, by the end of the week. And, um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else coming in. I can't remember if I do or not, but I know I have another cartoon, a couple really good movies coming in this week I should have on Blu-ray that I should have, that should be here by the end of the week, so. So, yeah, but anyways, I'll show you what I got in, Okay. Yeah, the first the two ones I'm going to show you are the two animated ones. Well, the first one I got is a series I wanted to get for a while on DVD. And it's a show I watched back in the 90s, and it's called Earthworm Jim. They may also had it, it was a popular video game on, the, uh, and, and on Super NES. It was on you know, the Super Nintendo, I believe it was on Sega, too. It was a really popular video game. They also made it into a cartoon series. It has Dan Cascinello, you know, that does Homer, also does Earthworm Jim on the show. This was a really good cartoon. I remember watching it back in the 90s. I really liked this one, and I was happy to finally pick this up for my animated collection. The only downfall to this is it has no special features, it's just a cartoon only. Which I can live with. I don't think with Earth Room we really need any extras anyways, to tell you the truth. It's not like it's like Simpsons or Looney Tunes or, you know, something like that. Like, you have to have special features to like a really, like, um, maybe like, you know, like a major cartoon. It's not like a well-known as like Looney Tunes or Simpsons where you have to have special features. So I can, I can live without this having special features. I'm just happy to have the cartoon. So, yeah. Time to get that. Missy's coming to smell my stuff like she's every time I get something new and she's always smelling it. I'll be right with you, baby. So yeah, I got that in, guys. And the other thing I got in, besides Earthworm Jim and this thing, I finally went and I finally bought um, this one that actually wrapped this one up, which I'm happy about, so this one get wrapped. Because this was kind of a pricey set. Well, actually I got it on sale, but this usually is an expensive set. And it's Looney Tunes, um, the Platinum Collection Volume 1, which is actually like in like, um, I don't even know if I can get this off for you guys with one hand or not, but I'll have to go more in depth in another video with this guy, I'll just show you, but anyway, this is Volume 1 of Looney Tunes, uh, sure, so this has a bunch of special features, this is the Blu-ray one, I'm gonna pick up Volume 2 and 3, I'm hoping to get that in the next month or so, I just picked up Volume 1 for now, so I can check out the transfer of these, I hope these are gonna look really good on Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, this is made into like a little digi book, which is nice. The first volume was anyway, the second and third volume were just made into like a normal DVD case, but this first one, and there was also, there was also Ultimate Collector's Edition, which is really hard to track now, not a print and expensive, but I just got the regular one. But yeah, I can't wait to check out some Looney Tunes in high definition, really looking forward to this guy's watching this. So yeah, I'll go more into depth and show you this in my next video when I do like an update of everything I picked up for the month. It says I don't want to take all this off then because it takes too long to get all that unraveled and everything. But I will show you that in an in-depth video coming up. And the steel book, guys, I got in. You guys are hoping you like this one. It's a nice one. It is from my Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is the original one on steel book here. I picked this up. I'm not going to be opening this, by the way, because I have all the other Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think I'm just going to leave this one sealed because they have multiple other different versions. I'm just going to put it up on my shelf. But it's a really, really nice steel book. Really happy to have this for my Texas Chainsaw Massacre collection. Really big fan of that movie. So I have different, like, different uh, editions of this. So this will go up on my shelf. I don't think, like I said, I'm going to open I think I'm just going to leave it sealed. Because like I said, if I want to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I have like four or five other editions of this in my collection on Blu-ray and DVD. So yeah. Really, really happy to get this in. It's in mint condition. There's no dents or anything in it. Or it's not damaged or anything. But it got come in the mail, so I'm happy about that. So yeah. So I'll be putting that in my collection. I don't even open that, guys. I'm gonna leave that one sealed. So, but anyways, guys, yeah. So that's all I got in for today. I got the um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steel Book, Looney Tunes Volume One, uh, the Platinum Edition. I plan to pick up Volume Two and Three the next month. And then I also got Earthworm Jim here, the complete series on DVD. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy these unbubblings. Um, I should be back later in the week with a little more unbubbling. I don't know exactly what day I'll be back this week, but probably by Friday because I should have a few more things coming in this week. As soon as I get a mail, I'll have another unbubbling video for you guys this week. So until then, guys, take care. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. <clears throat>